welcome back everyone so how are you going so far okay so we just have a basic understanding of python and how to install it and how i'm going to use the id and how i'm going to create the variables okay so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the math module so the basic mathematical mathematical calculations how are we going to do that and how the library is going to help us okay so so far we working with a shell which is uh, the core shell so in we don't have to do that the same way let's create a new shell script file uh, okay so we'll, we'll name it and we'll work start working on the, your own shell script file okay so what you can do is go to file and new file and the new this is a new shell so what you can do is you can write something here but before that just save the file so desktop and create a new folder called python demo okay go to the python demo folder and uh, math module so and make sure you put py extension okay so that is indicating this particular belongs to the python shell okay save okay so let's so far we worked the shell so let, we have the your own shell now let's try to print the data okay so i'm going to print python here save it how are we going to run this go to run and click run module or you can use the shortcut f5 what is happening nothing is printed here it is empty okay that is where the difference when you are working with a shell core core shell you don't have to provide anything okay but when you are working with your separate files you need to print the data okay separately so what you can do is if you want to print something you need to use the print and as i said there is no need for the semicolon at the end of the line so now i have a print method which will take the parameter and it will print it and click f5 to run this see it is printer okay so what else we can do so okay i'm going to print 1 plus 1 and save it and click f5 see both will work as the same way either it is a, a core shell or if it's or you it is your own shell file okay so when you're working with your own shell file make sure if you want to print something just use print statement okay so the other tip the other uh, thing which we need to know the types what kind of type i'm using it for example uh so what is 1.0 this is a decimal right and what is one this is an integer okay so shell uh, uh, sorry the python we have the uh, predefined method called type so if you pass some kind of data into it it will return the what is the data type for example print uh, type so python so we know that python is a string variable let's see how it is returning save it and run see it is returning there is a string value okay so let's do something like this so i don't want a python here i'm having a 10 here so it see what is returning click f5 it's an integer okay how about a control c 10.5 and click f5 it's a float it's a decimal value okay oh what else we can do okay so i have a okay let's create some variable and we'll print that okay so let's delete everything whatever i'm typed here let's start from the beginning okay i have a for example a is equal to 10 so I'm going to print a f5 okay so it's printer okay so 
so so far so good so now let's go to the math okay so I have a variable called a and it has 10 and I have another variable called B and it has 20 so I'm going to print a plus B so we know what is the answer it should be 30 click your five cool it's good so what will happen if I'll print a minus B minus 10 looks good okay do the same for multiplication and f5 200 okay the addition is working good and the subtraction is good and the multiplication also good and let's see divided uh, let's divide b divided by a f5 2.0 why it is setting 2.0? It should be 2, right? Okay. There is a difference between Python 2 and 3. Python 2, it will never return decimal. If it is 2.1, it will return 2. If it is 2.5 or more than 2.5, it is written as a 3. That means it will round off the value. Okay, which is not good. Okay. So that will overcome in the Python 3.0. Okay, and let's see. So we have seen A into B and print b divided by a so what are uh, other operations which is still in math we need to use a mod so mod is a bad boy it's uh so a div mod b so what is the outcome Okay, so basically what happening when I put A mod B, so the my outcome is 10. What is the 10? Is the 10 result? No. It's the remainder of the A mod B. That means 10 divided by 20. Okay, so let's try the other way. B divided by A. That means 20 divided by 10 so what is the remainder it is 0 right because nothing is left because 10 goes into 20 twice so there is no uh, values left over okay let's see that 0 okay and if you want you can try something like uh, 5 divided by oh, sorry not divided mod 2 so what will be the remainder because 5 goes into 2 how many times okay let's see that 1 okay okay let's do the other way 2 divided by 5 and we'll see is 2 okay so basically it is not returning some kind of uh, divided value it will divide the data and it will return the remainder okay so let's uh, I'll show you here in a simple way so I have a 10 divided by 5 so outcome is 2 so that is the remainder is 0 there is no values left over okay so here 10 divided by 3 equal to 1 the reason is 3 goes into 10 3 times the leftover is 1 so the remainder is 1 okay so here the 3 that means 3 times it goes into the 10 and the remainder is goes to 1 okay this is a modest to it's going to work okay so just give it a try and let me know if you guys have any clarification in the next video what we are going to discuss we are going to discuss about the order of order of when we have the multiple addition or multiple the, some kind of complex addition and multiplication or divided how it is going to work okay let's see the next video okay thank you